So recently there was essentially a terror attack in Norway where basically one guy set off a car bomb in the city of Oslo. The shockwave could be felt for a good distance away from the explosion site, killing seven. And not very long after, a man dressed up as a police officer took a ferry to an island that had a political summer camp for teenagers and basically shot and killed a good 80 teens. The camp was teaching liberal politics. Now when most people heard this story, they automatically thought that it would be another attack from a Muslim extremist. Even the Muslim Brotherhood took responsibility, but then cancelled. The lone terrorist was pretty much the exact opposite of what you'd expect a terrorist to be. A right-wing Christian fundamentalist. And what bothered me the most was the fact that the conservative media basically started covering for this guy. Fox News started saying that this guy was a lunatic and it doesn't matter if he was a liberal, conservative, if he was a Christian or a Muslim, he would have done the same thing. And that his ideology had absolutely nothing to do with this attack, which is completely bullcrap. And when you look at it, if a Muslim or a liberal pulled the same crap, nobody would have covered for them. Apparently, Glenn Beck compared the camp to the Hitler Youth, which doesn't surprise me at all. He has a special ability to tie anything in the known universe with Nazis. Yeah, so a camp teaching kids about democracy and freedom is teaching them about fascism. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. And probably the worst reaction from conservatives on the Oslo terror attack was how the liberal style of government, because he didn't agree with the immigration laws and foreign policy of Norway, and that dr somehow drived him to commit such an act. Point in case here, the conservative media just can't accept the fact that extremism in any way is dangerous. What hits me the most in this case is the fact that a mass murderer will be getting a max sentence of 21 years. That math just doesn't add up, and the Norwegian government knows it. I also marvel at how easily the death toll could have been reduced if there was at least two security guards with decent firearms. That could have greatly reduced the lives lost. So conclusively, I do hope this does something to change the policies of the Norwegian government and help change the minds of the Norwegian people, hopefully this attack can at least have some tiny, significant degree of positive change. However small, it's better than nothing.